Evening. Of course, if I have any chance of passing my day skipper, really the thing the boat's making at the moment, I mean, I need to sort the steaming light out, that's not sorted. And I need an anchor light, so I just thought I'd have a quick look for one. There you go. Yeah, we'll have LED. Hoistable, that's good, isn't it? Waterproof, yes. How much? 400 quid? Oh, dear, oh dear. Get fucked. <laughs> Oh, we'll have uh, a plastic bottle, I think. This LED bulb here, and that, that's two quid off eBay. There we go. Stick those together. Plastic bottle, that cork. Yeah, it's a bit of a blue piece, isn't it? This I had already. Look, a little 12 volt socket thing. We'll have that. And, uh, you know, I ordered this wire. I, I can't tell a lie. I bought this. You're still talking about probably 20 quid a lot for all of this stuff, and it'll be ho hoistable, waterproof. And uh, very versatile. A wandering lead anchor light like this makes a great work light, and I need one of those as well. So let's get on it. Of course, it's nice when it comes down to little jobs like this, isn't it? Very nice. Building four hatches and all that other nonsense. Go on. Oh, cool. With a hole in it. Well, that's perfect, isn't it? We'll just get the lines here. Stuff them up through the hole in the cork. Ow, couldn't ask for much more than that. Wires well, can be sharp. Safety advisory. Safety advisory for this video. Now, if I want that to just sit down here, I should probably just make that a bit wider. Rather than drilling it, I'm just going to get a drill bit and ream that bird boy out a little bit. Like this. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course, I'm going to set all this in Sikaflex anyway. So if I make a bit of a mess of it, I don't really matter. Alright then. So, got a positive and a negative. And I've cut the uh, terminal little spade connectors down so they're going to be lower profile. So I'll just solder those on like that. Yes. The great thing about using tin copper wire is it's really, really easy to solder. It just takes the solder immediately when the soldering iron's hot enough. It takes the solder immediately. Look at that. Which enables you to do a really tidy job if you're any good at soldering, which of course I'm not really. There we go. Look, that's just going onto the metal there now. One, two, three, done. Beautiful. Good job. It's a very good job, actually. Well, what's got into me tonight? And it hasn't weeped through or wept through to the uh, underside of the connector, so they'll just go straight on there and last forever. Get a file, Get a file and just dress those a little bit. We don't even need to do that, but yeah. I find wood files are really good for this <laughs> because I've uh, left my mini files on the boat. It's very soft metal, this stuff, anyway. Look at that. Oh, nice and tidy. Ideal. So that'll go in there with a bit of sicker flex. Another 50p down the drain. That doesn't fit exactly, but it's okay because I'm just going to stick and flex it in. And there it is, look, it'll be an anchor light. All I'm going to do now is put the cigarette lighter socket on the other end. This is a really cool little cigarette locket, uh, socket actually. It's got an LED in it, which, um, you know, just a little just a bonus feature there. It's free. I can't remember what I cut it off now. I think it might have been. One of those nasty portable fridges. It's got a built-in fuse though, built-in fuse in there. Although it's fused for something ridiculous like single bulb on an anchor light. Just not necessary. Right, so the centre one obviously is the positive. So I'm just gonna trace that centre back there through the circuit and make sure that I solder the positive to the positive. It's fairly straightforward. 
good. All right. Hmm. What's happening there? That's not good. Come on. Let me know if it works, will you? a winner and it's right too look at that you just turn it around so it's facing out of the garage we'll just turn the lights off spooky go for a little spooky walk with the car with it plugged in you know i find it acceptable i do i think it's going to be okay look at that Yeah, surprising. Surprisingly good. To be honest, the reason there's so much money is because you can see them from outer space, you know. Oh, I don't need to be it real. I need to be able to see it from outer space. In fact, I question the wisdom of having a light that bright. If it's that bright, it's actually quite difficult to discern how far away it is, I think. Um, of course, having one that's hoistable, you can't put a price on that. Also makes a really handy work light. Absolutely brilliant. Right, um, so I'm going to just uh, do dose all this with Sikaflex now and uh, permanently put it together. And uh, that'll be it. Next time you see it, it'll be hanging on the boat, probably. <laughs> the finished article, then. It's all around there. I've just Sikaflexed in just to seal it. Sikaflexed around the bottom of that and around there. And, you know, it's not, uh, it's not top quality. <laughs> It's waterproof, it floats, it's hoistable. Pfft, what do you want? It's LED, it draws next to nothing. I think it's a winner.